Do you need a contest this weekend, huh? I'll take a contest, take a contest. Victor Echo for Germany, Victoria, VE for Golf, Victor QRZ. Voice and CW. We're down to, yeah, phone and CW. You can also do mixed phone and CW. So, and with the bands being a little bit crappy, look at that. Tonight it's going to be hard pickings, at least for tonight. Wow, I got a big mess to clean up. All these computer parts. It's been a while. How you been? It's almost Christmas time. One of these things. You've seen these around? Software defined radio. Let me turn the scanner down here. SDR here. Well, got a little bit of a complaint for it. Um, the UHF VHF works just fine and everything with SDR sharp, but the HF, I can't get anything to come on it, even with my HF antenna. But I've been using one of these. But I've been using one of these, so I'm guessing this has got to account for a bunch of the signal loss. So I'm waiting for an adapter to come in the mail today. Mr. Sharp here. Okay, there's Mr. Sharp there. Go over here. Got things set pretty much the way it should be. Adapter's there. 2048 is what's recommended. Q branch. RTL there, and no frequency correction. And then I hit play. And this is all we get. Even where, where there's a little bit of a signal here, click on it, can't hear anything. And this is in the shortwave band. Now watch, if I, if I unplug the, the dongle there, remember what that looks like. I'm going to unplug the, the dongle here, and the readout will stay exactly the same. See there's nothing there, nothing plugged in. It stays the same. It's not receiving or picking up any signal, whether it's plugged in here or not. Now, I've opened this up and checked the connections on the inside. Everything's soldered on like it's supposed to be and connected. But on the HF side, it's just not, it's a little like it's just not working at all. So, converter or what? But uh, that's about 40 bucks right there. So. Don't count on a miracle for, for these things. I have seen them working on YouTube for other people four or five years ago, uh, maybe even a couple years ago, but this one has not been working for, for me on the HF side. Bought two of these. These are the uh, SMA to uh, coax connectors here. This end here. Bought two of these on eBay for like six bucks each. We're going to see if that makes any difference. Okay, well. Got these uh, installed on here, uh, UHF, VHF on this one here, goes outside, this one goes on the HF dipole outside. Of course right now it's working just fine, UHF, VHF, local net. But still, no luck on the HF side on the Q sampling. I even reinstalled the uh, driver for the uh, dongle here. A couple times, no luck. So I'm pretty disappointed. But well, as you can plainly see, it works just fine for UHF VHF. I'm pulling down NOAA 19 right now with it, using WX track there for the tracker and uh, images coming up right there. Kind of hard to configure. Got to have it just wide enough there. Bandwidth is around 60,000 wide FM, and uh, there's a little bit of an offset. And tuning it, I had to tune it to just over 70 frequency correction there. Oh, and at 2.4 instead of 2.04. But uh, as for HF, no, does not work. Uh, I okay, and here we go. And just like that, uh, well, they predicted it, and it's happening now. Getting a little bit of measurable snow. I'd say we got maybe a tenth to a quarter of an inch so far. You can see it, how it builds up here on the porch here. But it's definitely not melting when it hits the, hits the ground. The air temperature is about 26 degrees. A little bit of a wind as well. But you can definitely tell it. Now I don't know how long it's going to last, how much we're going to get, or if it's going to last through the 25th. But it's definitely here. So. And, of course, today is the first official day of winter.